So I'm, what I'm working on is from my last match, because I was getting really up. I was like, oh wow, what a mistake I'm making. So when I'm early on the hit like, like that, I end up uh, shanking a lot. So if I'm like too far in front, I shank a lot. That's when my shanks happen. Not that I shank a lot, but that's when they happen. Um, and then, so I was like, well, the other thing I'm working on is that going like slowly into the ball is kind of a, I had a slight misconception there because yeah, you want it to go slow so it really drags. But there's a few things. One, you have to get out early so you have enough time for the, the racket to really drag, right? So you have to get out. The second thing about going slowly is you can't just go slow into the hit, otherwise you're, not, you're actually gonna have no power. You have to go slowly into the hit while getting more convex and getting deeper into the hit, so going that way. So you're, not, so you're going slow and going into the ball. The ball's getting absorbed into the racket. So that's what I'm really working on with my forehand today is just like that, those sensations. There's me getting out early. I do get it, I get it out really early when I'm just rallying, going slow and the ball's away from me. And that's when I'm too early, right there. And I don't hold that convexity. So my racket just like flips over and goes like that. And then that just happens, which is really frustrating. So I gotta feel my racket drag all the time. See like that. Like what you just did, you're going way too fast. You're not holding your convexity long enough. So of course you're gonna shank it. You need to go slow into the hit and feel the drag and then keep getting deeper and letting it drag longer. And you're gonna shank way less. Just like keep, but see what you just did? You just did this. Just keep, like let it pull you back and just hold that. Don't, don't do that though. What you're doing is you're shadowing this. Shadow this. Yeah, just let it when it wants to. Like even maybe at last second, then it should do it, yeah. That was too fast. I'm gonna get so many angles today. That Ashton de Blasi guy really inspired me. What a YouTuber, what a cinematic YouTuber for golf. I mean, that's the one thing, your face has to. Dude, all my balls. All right, we have no rhythm. Yeah, man, it's all about doing the fundamentals right. The way I work out, um, I have a three phase program, yeah. One's like, the first one's balanced, the second one's hypertrophy based, the third one's strength based. But I've been cutting, so I've been getting weaker on the strength program. That's always fun getting weak. Like what you said about that, that little one you did this or whatever. What did you say? Cause I kind of forgot. Yeah, and then you were saying what you should, what you should have tried to attempt it. Yeah, and I was like, you don't have to. Cause I was like saying that you can just go straight into the hit, just like, like that. And so then I showed you and I was like, and you're like, and the ball was fast. So and you can do it on both sides, forehand and backhand. Yeah, just go up off the 45. See, watch. See, I'm so early when I do it though, cause I'm, because of course I am. But I just, I'm gonna do it again. Wait till it's more at my side when I do it, instead of being so early. Like, I can have that short swing, that's fine. But just wait till it's in my wheelhouse, like right there, you know? Wait for it. And don't do anything special, you know? Don't hit it early. So just gonna wait, 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 wait. Right there, wheelhouse, wait for it. And then I'm gonna hold my convexity. Those are all horrendous examples, but you know, you get the idea. Why did I miss all those? So early. I wasn't even lined up with my 45. I just was right here. I should be getting right at my 45 and straight into the hit. Right. That was awful. What a feed. Watch. 
like that one. So I don't know, I'm gonna hit a ball to you that I know is gonna give you that shank off the tip of your racket. I don't want you to purposely like exaggerate it. I want you to just not think about your head. And I want you to think about getting convex into the hit. Be the most convex person. That's all you're gonna think about right now. Just be, don't pull your head off. I only want you to think about one thing, being the most convex person and nothing else. Can you do that one thought? That's supposed to be a forehand. Go, do it again. Forehand. Great, what are you thinking about being convex? That's all you thought about, right? Okay, now think about your head staying there. Come on, you can just stay concentrated. Yeah, so did you, did it help though? Cause you don't feel, did you, what? Go stand over there and tell me what's in, what, well, actually, I had to be in the camera cause I have the mic on. Well, no, I need the mic. You gotta get mic here. I'll take it from my chest like Iron Man. Iron, Iron Man should have a mic come out of his chest. What sensation did you feel differently? So when I actually keep my head on the 45, I... Uh, you don't have to touch my hand like that. Oh, sorry. It, uh, it allows me to be a lot more lined up and stay convex longer instead of pulling through my hit and causing me to shank so everything. So even though, even though you think about staying con being the most convex person on the planet, it only you're only able to do it once your head stays there at the hit. Correct. Great. That's your lesson of the day, motherfucker. I fucked his hand. What can I, I mean? That sounds disgusting. Brian, where are your vertical? Brian. God, stupid. That's a fucking ridiculously stupid ball. Such a bad shot. Cause I pulled off. Just get deeper on that ball. Slower into the hit. And just stay there, stay in the hit. Again, same thing. Dude, what is wrong with this mic? It's right in the... Nope, that was a bad one. You won't hit it as long as you're a good player, right? You just gotta go down the middle. Just don't miss hit the ball. Just to get deep into your fundamentals. Oh my, it's it, I'm dialed on my back. See, I really feel it on my backhand really well right now. I'm starting to feel it, starting to feel it on my forehand too. That slow, convex dragging into the deeper into the hip.
that in? Light, let's go. That's a beautiful shot. I'm trying to do just right here. Like I said, like a wall just in here. It almost feels more equal to have it, yeah, instead of this, having it propped and staying there feels much more equal on the 45, uh, yeah. Come on, here we go, down the middle. All right, keep your eyes on the ball, on the 45. Honestly, that's good enough. I don't even need to take more video of that. 